So in um, this lesson, I want to talk about constraining objects um, using After Effects expressions, constraining the Y or the X uh, positions. <coughs> so I created three objects. I've got the square, I've got a line for the Y movement, and then I've created a blue solid for the X movement. And I'm just going to um, center the anchor point. As you can see, the anchor point is way over here. So if you hit Y, and then if you hold down Control, it goes into snapping mode. So I'm just going to snap that to the center. Hit B. Uh, go to this green solid. Hit Y. Okay. Hold down Control. Hit B. And uh, this solid. Hit Y. Hold down Control to find the center. So I wanna, I'm gonna use After Effects expressions to, um, when I move this red square, the blue line's gonna move, when I move this red square along the X axis, the blue line's gonna move, but the green line's gonna stay still. And then when I move it along the Y axis, the blue line's gonna stay still, and the green line's gonna move up and down. And usually if you um, hold down Alt, and link the positions directly, it, um, it pretty much links everything, X, Y, and Z coordinates. And um, in this instance, I'm just gonna only link one coordinate, either the X position or the Y position. And it's a pretty good uh, first step towards writing After Effects expressions as well. <coughs> so I'm just gonna grab the blue solid, and we wanna just link the we want to we want the x movement of the red square to drive the x movement of the blue square okay so i'm just going to go hit p to go into position and i've got the position value up for the red solid and i'm just going to hold down alt and click the timer then i'm going to use the pick whip tool and link it to the position of the red solid as you can see it jumps the red solid, which is not what we want. So I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to type. Oops, should be able to. I'm going to type y val equals value one. That should be up there. So yval equals value one. This means um, in After Effects, basically the values for x, y, and z are value zero is x, value one is y, and value two is z. So what this basically does is yval equals value one means just leave y value alone. And then we're gonna create a variable for the x value, which is what we're interested in. So I'm just gonna do this, e xval equals what we used with the pick, uh, pick whip tools there. And um, at the end of this transform position, I want to only use the x value. Right now it's kind of using all values, like a complete array. So I'm just going to open these brackets and put in zero. And that basically gives us just the x position of the red square. And then a third line, I'm just going to simply put xval, comma, yval, close brackets, square brackets, and see what happens. Now it's popped back. It appears to be working. And now if I use uh, move the red solid, as you can see, it's following the x position, the blue line. But if I move it along y, it doesn't follow it, which can be quite useful for like building charts and um, timelines, things like that. So then I can just copy and paste this, go to my green solid, and I only, I want, only want the Y uh, position for the green solid moving, so just hit P, Alt, hit the timer, and just paste in the script. And before I hit OK, 
<clears throat> I'm going to come up to the top of the line and because in this case I want the x value to be left alone and only a y value affected, I'm going to change this to x val equals value 0. So it's almost like saying x equals x. Let's go to the next line, make this y value equals this comp layer, red solar, transform position instead of 0, 1. And that gives us the y position. Remember the 0, 1, 2 is x, y, z. And then x, y, x val, y val, that can stay the same. Just hit click away. And now the y value of the green box is linked to the y value of the red square. And the x value of the blue box is linked to the x value of the red square. So we've got this kind of selective constraining going on. And, um, I'll just leave those scripts open. And that's basically it. So that's a handy way of uh, constraining just one position value. And it's very handy. I use it all the time. And I uh, hope you uh, understood the tutorial. If you've got any questions, leave a comment. And um, thanks for watching.